Um, I just got out of church right now. It was very powerful this morning. Um, to be honest, I was so tired. I worked eight hours, and then yesterday I did another eight hours. But I went out to the outreach that we went that we had. I I spoke a little bit. I gave testimony. It was very powerful. Um, I'm not in front of the camera today because I'm just tired and I'm just kind of like resting. But I'm grateful that I did go to church. Um, Pastor Lori really did preach on really powerful message. To be honest, it was just so powerful. I just kind of like I don't really remember what was preached, but I remember it. But I don't. But it's I can't. It's kind of like it's still in my head. But I just it was so powerful. Like I I kind of forgot. <laughs> but it was. Uh, Cause I, I don't want to misquote it, but it was talking about like, you know, about, you know, about having generations of, you know, family, like example, if you had a grandfather that was a pastor, you know, that passes down to the next generation and, you know, people that, people that have like aunts, uncles, you know, grandfathers, grandmothers that are preachers or, you know, prayer warriors, that goes down to the next generation and that we have favor with the Holy Spirit. Like growing up, I have favor with my grandmother, who was a apostolic woman, powerful prayer warrior. She was like almost like a preacher. She just had that fire and she just, you know, she spoke in tongues. She ran the aisles. She, you know, she had the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Spirit hit her so hard that sometimes it, you know, as she'd be dancing and she'd be praying in tongues and, you know, she would be praying for her kids. And she just was a, a strong prayer, powerful prayer warrior. She used to take me to church. She used to have me read the word of God. And when, you know, she would have me read the Psalms 23 and, you know what I'm saying? She would make me like read the Bible every day. And then my dad was always getting me involved in church. So, you know what I'm saying? And my mom and sister were also involved in church. So, you know, I come from that apostolic, that old school apostolic where, you know what I'm saying, where you had to wear a shirt and, a, a shirt and tie, you know what I'm saying? There was no TV, you know, it was, I mean, back in those days, it was just different, you know, but I mean, you know, now it's still powerful. You know, I, I enjoyed the, the service this morning because it, it reminded me when I was a kid, you know, I really just could have sat another two hours, but it was powerful. You know what I'm saying? But in this video, I wanted to talk about the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know, Acts 2.38, where it says to repent and be baptized every one of you for the remissions of sin. For you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is powerful. You know what I'm saying? It, it When you receive it, it just feels like power. You know what I'm saying? It feels like fire through your belly. That's what I love about the power of the Holy Ghost. And, you know, when people talk about the Holy Ghost, when they talk about Jesus, I always get those goosebumps and that feeling. Like right now, I'm feeling like the fire all over through my body. I feel feel that fire and, it, and it's still burning in me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, yesterday at work, that's all I thought about was the Lord. And I just, I had a good night at work. I was hustling. I was grinding. I was making my money came home, went to church. Tonight, I'm going to go to church again. I'm just filled with the fire. You know, the pastor, you know, who's like a mother to me, thinks very highly of me, you know, but what I love about, you know, Pastor Lori is that, you know, she's, you know, she's, you know, mentoring me and, you know, God is working on me. God's taking his time with me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've preached before and I've been filled with the Holy Ghost, but it takes time. You know, it's been a while. So I'm just kind of like, I'm really humble now. I really am trying my best just to learn. But, you know, the gift of the Holy Ghost is just so powerful. And it's an experience that you need to have. And I'm just, I apologize. There's no lights on. It's because I'm tired and I'm just about to go to sleep. But I just had to share that, the, you know, the gift of the Holy Ghost is powerful.